and welcome to 404 to the World, a spin-off series of remarkable lunches where I briefly cover the history of an engine number 404 in 4 minutes and 4 seconds. This episode of 404 to the World will feature an engine that retained its number on both northeastern roads it ran on, that being the Lehigh Valley and Delaware and Hudson. Just like the last episode, this 404 was built by the American Locomotive Works, or ALCO, who was known for producing reliable road switchers and were abundant on the two roads to be covered. So with all of that said, here is the story of LV slash DNH number 404. Since the last episode focused on one of ALCO's Century Series engines, the story of this 404 starts at the exact same time period based on the exact same circumstances, only this time ALCO decided to introduce a 4-axle variant for the Century Series in addition to the 6-axle C628 in 1963, specifically the C420, with the C standing for Century Series, 4 for 4 axles, and 20 for 2,000 horsepower. The C420 was essentially built to replace the ongoing Road Switcher, or RS series in their catalog, with a brand new design that offered more continuous tractive effort as a larger amount of units were produced with a total of 131, with the Lehigh Valley purchasing many of these Century Series engines, including 12 C420s, with 404 the locomotive to be focused on, being the first C420 built for the Lehigh Valley in November of 1964. 404 and other Alco Centuries started service in the yellow and gray Yellow Jacket livery, the first engine on the roster in the Yellow Jacket livery as a matter of fact, before being repainted into the more well-known red and white Cornell red paint scheme in 1975, as they could be found anywhere in the Lehigh Valley system between Jersey City and Buffalo. Although the Lehigh Valley didn't order too many of these engines, since they still had plenty of EMD F3s out with mainline runs, with EMD also outperforming these Alco engines in terms of new engine sales. Eventually, the scrappy anthracite coal railroad would eventually be merged with six other northeastern railroads in the Conrail in 1976, as this massive consolidation of operations immediately resulted in a surplus of engines. So instead of being used by Conrail, 404 along with all the other C420s were sold to the neighboring Delaware and Hudson, who ran them along with an almost exclusively Alco roster between Albany and Montreal, and particularly on newly acquired trackage in New York and Pennsylvania. 404 initially had DNH lettering on its short hood and cab for about a year, until being repainted in the blue and silver a year later, where just like on the Lehigh Valley, it could be seen hauling mainline freights all across the DNH. However, no photos of this engine exist past the mid 1980s, with some sources saying the engine was sold with other C420s to Arkansas and Missouri, and others say it was scrapped by 1987. So this 404 has an unknown disposition, but it's presumed scrapped. Despite not making it into preservation, plenty of 404's sister C420s are still in service today on short lines in its home state of New York and this 404 has lined out on Atlas models of its time on both the Lehigh Valley and Delmer and Hudson, thus keeping the legacy of this hardworking 404 alive for years to come. Thank you all for watching this episode of 404's of the World. In this episode's honorable 404 goes to 10-wheeler number 404 named Eureka, built by Delano in 1883, and N3 class number 404 built by Baldwin in 1916. Both of these honorable mentions were rostered by the Lehigh Valley, while the Delmer and Hudson have no recorded 404 before this. But in regards to this engine, even if this 404 wasn't preserved, it doesn't discount the years of incredible service it gave with other Alcos of its kind for not one but two railroads in regions that needed reliable power the most. Thank you again for watching, credit for all the photos used go to their respective photographers, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Have a good day.